this video is about the two types of inventory system used by businesses. The first one is the periodic inventory system. In here, cost of goods sold is determined only at the end of an accounting period. So, ibig sabihin, cost of inventory on hand is done or updated periodically. Physical counting of goods on hand is done at the end of the reporting period to determine the quantities remaining in the inventory. And also, actual or physical inventory is yung nandito. Periodic inventory system is used by companies with small unit values. Sabihin yung mga inventories na small in value, small peso investments such as groceries, hardware. So, dito sa periodic system, for example, sa groceries, so, for example, sa groceries, at the end of the reporting period sila, nagkakaroon ng actual physical counting of the inventories. Another type of inventory system is the perpetual inventory system. So, ano yung characteristic nito? In here, detailed record of cost of each item are maintained in stock cards or inventory cards. So, ano yung stock cards? So, dito sa stock cards, nire-reflect na yung both unit and cost of each item. So, in short, stock cards are summary of inventory inflow and outflow. Unlike sa periodic, dito sa perpetual, cost of each item sold is determined from the records when the sale occurs. And unlike the periodic inventory, sa perpetual, it is used by business which sell high unit values. So, yung mga inventory items that represent relatively large amount of PESA investment, yun nandito. Example nito is yung mga nagbebenta ng cars and jewelries. So, since may stock card nga, better control over inventories sa perpetual compared sa periodic. Kasi nga, records always show the quantity that should be on hand. And since high value, such as cars and jewelries, any shortage or kulang sa inventory or actual quantity ng inventories ng company is madetermine agad. To further understand, here's a comparison between the two. Under the periodic, purchase of inventory is debited to account purchases. So, tuwing bumibili tayo ng inventory, the entry would be a debit to purchases. So, any return or discount given tuwing bumibili tayo will be recorded also sa purchase discount and purchase return. On the other hand, on the perpetual system, purchase of inventory is debited to account merchandise inventory. So, dito sa perpetual system, wala tayong makikitang purchases account. So, tuwing may purchase return and purchase discount, it is directly recorded in the merchandise inventory account. Also, in the periodic system, we only record revenue when the item is sold. Normal recording of revenue we debit cash or accounts receivable when we sold on account and credit sales. While sa perpetual, revenue and cost of goods sold are recorded when the item is sold. So later, makikita natin kung ano yung entry needed sa perpetual system. Moreover, in the periodic system, at the end of reporting period, you must compute for the cost of goods sold. So, my computation for that. While in the perpetual inventory system, we do not compute for the cost of goods sold. At the end of the period, no entry is needed unless we need to adjust for losses of inventories. Since we record tayo ng cost of goods sold every time we sell an item, not need for computation ng cost of goods sold kasi mal malalaman natin agad yung balances. So, cost of goods sold is the cost of the item that we sell. So, here's the computation for that when we use the periodic system. Beginning inventory is added to the net purchases. Net purchases compose of purchases, less any purchase returns and allowances as well as purchase discounts. And also, freight in is added to the net purchases. After adding that, we will get the total goods available for sale. We will deduct the ending inventory. The ending inventory is the cost of the item unsold. Kung sinahanap lang natin is yung cost of goods sold for the reporting period, itadetect natin yung hindi pa nabenta. By using this formula is, makukuha natin yung cost of goods sold for the period. To further understand the concepts, here are sample transaction to differentiate the entries to be recorded between periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. So here's the first transaction. 
Purchase of merchandise inventory on account amounting to 300,000 with credit terms 2 over 10 and N over 30. So, these credit terms represent cash discount. We have a separate video for that. Record the purchase with debit purchases amounting to 300,000 and we credit accounts payable amounting to 300,000 since the purchase is made on account or utang and we have a payable for that. Well, on the perpetual one, we purchase merchandise inventory on account amounting to 300,000 with credit terms 2 over 10 and N over 30. So, similar transaction. However, magkakaiba tayo sa entries. In here, the purchase that we made will be debited sa merchandise inventory account. Wala tayong gagamitin purchases account dito. And we credit accounts payable amounting to 300,000 as well. So, see the difference sa periodic one gumagamit ng purchases na words or account and sa perpetual is merchandise inventory. Next, payment of freight on the purchase amounting to 20,000. The entry to record with debit freight in and credit cash. So, the entry to record with debit freight in and credit cash. So, remember that freight in is added to purchases to come up with the net purchases. On the perpetual inventory system, same transaction but magkakaiba tayo sa entries. So, we debit merchandise inventory and credit cash. So, pag freight in, tayo yung nagbayad ng shipping fee or shipping cost, added siya sa merchandise inventory natin. Another transaction, return on merchandise purchase to supplier amounted to 30000 So, merong purchase return. So, to record, we debit accounts payable and credit purchase return. So, accounts payable on the debit since normal balance of payable is credit. So, in order to reduce the accounts payable is we record a debit. On the perpetual inventory system, same transaction then. Pero, ang entry natin mag-iiba. So, we debit accounts payable to reduce our obligation. However, purchase return is recorded sa merchandise inventory account pa din. So, di talaga natin ginagamit yung purchase account. Next transaction is payment of accounts payable within the discount period. So, ang original na payable natin is 300,000. Pero, it is reduced by the purchase return amounting to 30,000. So, the balance of accounts payable is only 270,000. So, yung 270,000 na yun is reduced pa by the discount of 2% kasi pasok siya dun sa within 10 days period. The entry to record, we debit accounts payable and we credit purchase discount amounting to 5,400. So, paano natin to nakuha? We just simply multiply 270,000 balance of accounts payable by the 2% discount. So, the purchase discount is deducted to the 270,000. So, we only have cash payment amounting to 264,600 pesos. So, on the perpetual inventory system, same transaction, pero mag-iiba ulit si entry natin. So, we debit accounts payable amounting to 270,000, pero we will not record a purchase discount. Pagamitin natin na account is merchandise inventory. We credit this amount of 5,400 into merchandise inventory account. So, the same pa rin, cash payments equates to 264,600. Another transaction, we sell or we have a sale of merchandise on account amounting to 400,000 at 40% gross profit. So, the 400,000 is the amount of sales itself. So, the entry to record, we debit accounts receivable since we sold on account or utang and we credit sales amounting to 400,000. On the perpetual system, Sale of merchandise inventory on account amounting to 400,000 at 40% gross profit and the cost of merchandise sold is 60% or 240,000. So in here same entry sa sales since it is on account we debit accounts receivable and credit sales. So hindi pa tayo nagtatapos dito. Always remember that when we use perpetual inventory system aside from the revenue we also record for the cost of goods sold. Another entry is required for the cost of goods sold. So the entry, we debit cost of goods sold and credit merchandise inventory. So, i-credit natin yung merchandise inventory since mababawasan na yung inventory natin. And merchandise inventory has a debit normal balance, kaya mag-credit tayo to reduce that account. 
Another transaction, there is a return of merchandise sold from customer amounting to 25000 So we debit sales return and credit accounts receivable. On the perpetual inventory system, return of merchandise sold amounting to 25000 has a cost of goods sold amounting to 15000 or 60%. So same entry, sales return, and credit accounts receivable. However, there is another one. We debit merchandise inventory and credit cost of goods sold. Since na return sa atin is additional siya ulit sa ating inventory. Next transaction, adjustment of ending inventory amounting to 59600 so, sa periodic inventory system, at the end of the reporting period, there is a physical counting of inventories. So, ito yun. So, merchandise inventory ending or yung mga unsold pa amounted to 59,600. And we credit income summary account amounting to 59,600 as well. So, whenever we use periodic inventory system, it is one of the required closing entries done. While on the perpetual inventory system, adjustment of entering inventory is ganto. So the balance of merchandise inventory account represent the ending inventory. So the ba since we record merchandise inventory whenever we purchase and whenever we sold, so malalaman natin agad yung balances using the general ledger. So kung ano yung amount appearing on the ledger of merchandise inventory, yun na yung nagre-represent ng ending merchandise inventory. That amount will be the unsold portion. So no need for adjustment unless there is adjustments for shortage. There is an adjustment whenever there is shortage or overage sa ating inventory. So the balance is also 59,600. So the last transaction, we receive payments of the accounts receivable within the discount period. So the normal accounts receivable is 400,000 pero meron tayong sales return of 25,000. So remaining balance ng accounts receivable is 375,000. So that is the basis ng ating cash discount. So 375,000 times 2% will give us an amount of 7,500. Sorry for the typographical error but that is 7,500. So 375 less the sales discount of 7,500 will give us an amount of 367,500. So in short, yun lang yung cash payment na na-receive natin from customer. So on the other hand, on the perpetual inventory system, we have same transaction. So the entry to record would be the same. We debit cash amounting to 367,000. Debit sales discount amounting to 7,500, that is a typo error as well. And we credit accounts receivable amounting to 375,000. So the accounts receivable is already the recognized since naka collect na tayo. So we no longer have a receivable. So I hope you understand the difference of recording between the periodic and perpetual inventory system. So different companies use different type of inventory system. Always remember the concepts as well as the entries to be made whenever we use perpetual and periodic system.